Hello, everyone. It is a, a Thursday lunchtime and our transformation of money mindset and manifestation is live. I'm going to give everyone a few minutes to join and introduce themselves. And I can't wait to get to know everyone. This is so incredibly exciting. Okay, I can see yep, people are logging in now, which is absolutely brilliant and an absolute honor. So I'll just give everyone a couple of minutes um, to, to tune in. Um, if you feel free, if you feel comfortable, of course, don't be shy. Um, make sure you add in the chat box, uh, you know, a wave or a hi. Uh, maybe you can say your name if you want so I can chat with you. I've got Jessica. Oh, my gosh, Kimberly, Danielle, uh, Vanessa. Oh, my gosh, wow. Um, oh, my Chantal, Chantel. Oh, my gosh, Tam, Stacy, Suzanne. Oh, my gosh, Louise, everyone. Oh, my God, thank you so much. It's uh, so incredibly exciting. This is um, the first program that I've ever built. And even though I've done so many presentations and been on live TV countless times, I am very nervous. So please bear with me today because I'm talking about something that I'm incredibly passionate about. And when I get passionate, I, all the words come out at the same time. So um, I, this is one of my favorite subjects to talk about. I could talk about it until the cows come home. And I'm aware that everyone's sitting there probably during their lunch break watching this. So I'm really going to try and stick to the one hour. And if you have any questions, I'm going to make sure I set some time uh, for the end for you to ask as many questions as you like. There is nothing, um, I guess, you know, off topic here at all when it comes to your mindset and, you know, applying the principles of manifestation in your life. So, um, all right, well, look, uh, let's get started everyone if, you, if you're ready um and again keep me keep me posted let me know you're listening let me know what you're loving hearing if i see a question in the chat box and i can uh, and i see it in time i will make sure that i answer it for you but if not it'll be at the end and by the way i will stay on li on live for as long as you possibly need me to so don't think oh it's going to be one hour and Canon's going to vanish definitely not far from the case all right, okay, um, let's get started. I'm gonna share with you some important things to help explain what I'm going to show you. All right, so today I wanna to share with you like how to, the power of your mindset and how you actually have everything that you already need to transform your financial successes, to start to take your financial well-being to the next level to have incredible shifts and breakthroughs where you go from strength to strength and you really evolve as a person not just financially but on a personal and spiritual level as well this is something i have gone through myself and i have been doing a lot of this subconsciously ever since as i was a little girl but really over the last i think 12 18 months to two years i've had my own biggest awakening and transformation and this is what i want to share with everyone right now so that you can start if you want to that is apply some of these ideas in your own life so this is really about looking beyond the nuts and bolts the economics the numbers the fees the taxes the returns but actually looking at this at financial well-being from a completely different perspective but a far more powerful one and if you have read mindful money and if you listen to my podcast, you will notice that there is a common theme. And I always start, say, start your financial journey internally first. If you can fine tune your money mindset, your successes will be far more sustainable and they will happen sooner. I personally guarantee that. And I'm going to explain why. And I'm also going to give you some ideas and hacks that you can take away today and start applying straight away and not just in your financial affairs but in your personal life as well now for people who are not familiar with me um, i'm actually a financial planner a qualified financial planner and i have been in the financial planning industry for 23 years and been a financial planner for over 20 years so i have seen it all and i have seen consistently a common theme with 
clients of mine that were just outrageously successful. It was just this constant buzz, this constant vibe of energy where there was just incredible things happening to them all the time. And this common theme is their mindset. And it's quite incredible how when I would compare this against other people that were still proceeding ahead, but just at a different rate or dealing with different types of setbacks and challenges that we all face and are not immune from in different ways that actually held them back and kept them stuck for so much longer. So my question to you today is, if, you, if I could show you how to use your mindset in the right type of way to actually start manifesting financial successes, would you want to hear about this? If you can just type yes, yes, please, here for it, Kate, if great. <laughs> um, if you can just type into the chat box, that would be absolutely amazing. Great. All right. Everyone is on board. Everyone wants to hear this because this is what I'm all about. And don't get me wrong. I'm all about like the fees, the regulations, the rules, the laws, the hard work, the commitment, the dedication, everything. But you need this stuff first if you really want to go places and transform yourself, not just in bursts and spurts, but actually evolve and grow where you never look back and you become incredibly contagious with your own levels of energy. Now, for people who are not familiar with me, just a quick rundown as to who I am. So I created the Sugar Mama platform eight years ago, and I didn't really know what I was doing, but it went mental. I just opened up a can of very juicy fun, inspiring, empowering worms, but I, I didn't wasn't quite prepared as to how many people out there really needed help. And what people loved the most was the mindset stuff, the stuff that they could do internally to make them feel good about money. Now, I have was I was Channel 9's uh, regular guest um, for, as their, in, you know, mon their money expert. I've been quoted by the New York Times, which is probably like the biggest um, honor I've ever experienced. I've been in many papers, Sydney Morning Herald, The Telegraph. If you just Google my name and the media, and you'll see a whole range of different things that come up about me. I've done lots of stuff with Mamma Mia. Um, I had a huge profile on the Grace Tales. Um, I've done keynote speaking around the country. I have two podcasts, How Do They Afford That? and Sugar Mama's Fireplay, both of which are backed by Nova, one of our biggest radio stations. Um, I've also obviously got two published books by Penguin, and I, I'm a mother. Um, I'm a mother of three children. My partner Tom is there. Um, I've worked with major corporates. I've worked with Microsoft. I've worked with ING Bank. I've worked with Gumtree. I've, I've worked with um, just a, a wide range of different clients, Clarins, uh, MAC Cosmetics. Like It's an absolute honor to be able to connect with so many brilliant people and brilliant brands. So I know what I'm talking about. I have a huge amount of experience. And of course, I have all the education and training that goes behind this. But today, I don't want to talk to you about what to invest in or, you know, risk profiles and fees and returns and investment strategies. I want to talk about what's going on inside of you so that we can do things differently and create a shift because I'm seeing a lot of the same challenges that we're all facing over and over again. And I want to make sure that we can change our mindsets so that we can actually work through these challenges and actually see these challenges as a blessing in disguise that then are the catalyst for this incredible catapult of transformation and growth so that we're never frightened or fearful when it comes to setbacks, challenges, obstacles in our way. It's actually you know, a very powerful blessing in disguise behind with the universe. All right. So I want to talk to you about where people typically go wrong and why our system previously has been very closed to this. And it's, as I say, it's not your fault. OK, now, if I look at why so many people, their mindset is holding them back or and sometimes even their mindset is incredibly toxic. There are three main reasons why. The first one is the media. OK. So I'm going to show with you something I screen grabbed just last night. And these, if you look at these three screenshots, Channel 9, The Financial Review, SBS News, ABC News, um, uh, uh, and then there's a, a various other news websites that are subsidiaries of these. Every single one of these headlines is negative. 
talking about the Australian dollar falling and the Australian dollar is going to be down for the next five years, talking about the cost of living crisis hitting households. Look at these images that are they've used as well. Even if you don't look at the headline, the image itself is depressing and frustrating and it can make you feel completely defeated, which is what a lot of people are experiencing right now with the challenges of the cost of living. I'm not going to sweep that under the map. So you can, under the map. So you can see what I'm talking about when it comes to the negative. Unfortunately, doom and gloom sells. We click on something that is negative rather than clicking on something that's exciting and, and empowering and positive. The worst one here is actually the one on the far right. It is from, I think, uh, the World Social, uh, Socialist website. Rising financial distress in Australia triggers a surge in calls to suicide hotline. This is frightening. Uh, they, you know what? If we go back two years ago, these headlines were all the same, but they just related to COVID. So nothing is actually changing at all. But, but So what is the question? We need to change. We need to look at things differently. And we need to approach things differently. And we need to do things differently. All changes start inside. So if we can learn to change our mindsets, it creates a shift in our own lives. And I'll tell you what, when you create that shift, other people notice. They want to know what you're doing differently. You have a different energy about you. You you carry yourself in a different way. People are curious as to how you're going. What, how do you look at that differently? How, like, what's your opinion of this and that? Now, the other reason why we have these toxic mindsets around our wealth creation journey and getting ahead financially is the system okay i i am someone who grew up with this i watched my parents work extremely hard and make huge huge sacrifices and i actually subconsciously took this on as a money block that you had to slave away you had to sacrifice everything you had to work long crazy crazy hours you know, and it, it created a very narrow mentality for me until I created that awareness and was able to let go of it. But these are things you will hear all the time. I, I hear this sometimes even from occasionally from, you know, successful people, but I hear this a lot from people who haven't actually gotten anywhere in life. They're stuck and they will not admit that this is why one of the reasons why they are where they are. So hearing the saying, it takes money to make money. That's not true at all. There are so many multimillionaires and billionaire, billionaires out there who have created their own systems, their own programs with next to nothing, okay? More money, more problems. You think that because you're going to have more money, you're going to have more stresses, you're going to have to be more protective of that money, more fearful of losing that money. That's what those type of people think like that, more money, more problems. The other traditional one, which is something that a lot of our parents have always told us, is to play it safe. You know, don't go and chase um, our dreams and goals and what we're really passionate about. Go and become an accountant, become a lawyer, become a doctor, because they're always going to be careers that can't be replaced. And again, I think we're going to see a new shift back to this mentality, unfortunately, with, with AI, thinking, okay, well, we need to come up with a job that where we can't be replaced. Playing it safe is just so, so, it's so limiting and restrictive. Thinking that money is greed, okay? I... I'm going to, in my program, I actually tackle that head on. And I'll even give you a little bit of an insight into this. When you have money, you are of better service and benefit to the community around you. When you have money in your pocket, you feel better about yourself. You have more time to connect with other people. You can spend more money supporting your, your community around you, being uh, charitable and generous to the people who you love. You can invest more in your health. You have more time. You can give more money to charity. There is a huge, powerful flow-on effect that comes from having financial freedom and independence. It's got nothing to do with, with greed. Um, and if anyone tries to tell you that, I just feel very, very sorry for them that they're stuck there. The other one I'm seeing also is a common thing, and I think the media feeds this, is everyone is struggling. It's the new norm. Get used to it. This is what the it's going to be for like the next five years. That is not true. If it really boils down to you, you do not have to be struggling. You can start doing things differently and approaching things from a different mindset and an, a different practical application if you want to start seeing things differently and you want to stop the struggle. Because I myself have gone through so much and I have learned so much, which I want to share with you through this program. And the final one is people who are educated 
are only worthy of success or they're only respected of success. I um, had a brilliant interview with these, this lovely couple and you can see the frustration that, that, you, that quite often happens with entrepreneurs who manage to create a huge amounts of success and financial success out of something very, very simple. There's almost an element of a tall poppy syndrome here. So this is what I'm talking about, this small mentality. And this is why a lot of us are stuck in this, which I don't, I want to break you free from this. The other thing is, and it's so funny, I'm going to share some stuff with you in a second, is people are fearful of the spiritual element of money. They think it's woo-woo or baloney, as someone called it. Um, and they think that if, in, if they, you can be, get this impression that if you start to talk about money from an energetic point of view, or talk about, use the word manifestation, that people are gonna laugh at you, judge you, and, and think that you don't know what you're talking about. Now, as I said, I'm a financial planner. I, I understand what needs to be done, but money is energy. The more money you have, the more energy you have, the more resources you have, the more time you have, the more choices you have, the more luxury, if you want, you have. So again, if you want to break through free, from this small mindset, this small mentality, we need to let go of all this stuff and do things very, very differently. Now, whenever I hear this, people talking like this, I get, in, I get really sad and I get really frustrated and I have to really protect myself from absorbing their energy. And I have this thing called the TP of protection I talk about in my program. And essentially it is where this, this TP comes down over you and it's got mirrors on the outside. So anyone that is trying to throw something at you actually bounces straight back off the mirror, straight back onto them. And the power, so it protects you from behind. And this is a technique you can call upon no matter where you are, what you're doing. And I've even used it to help get me out of situations where people weren't behaving particularly nicely. But the power of the mirror actually serves the person who is being small-minded or toxic because they can see themselves in the reflection and see how unattractive this is. And it gives them the opportunity to actually change the way they're behaving and what they're saying. They get a, a whole new element as to how, they're how they are showing up in the world, okay? So the, this is the, I talk about this in a lot more detail, but I just want to kind of give you that little insight now while I can. So we want to change things. We want to do things very, very differently. Now, for success, if you Google what do you need for success, there is a there are various lists, but this is the one, the most accurate one I gathered, and it was from the um, from Forbes. Adaptability, emotional intelligence, perseverance, discipline, humble self awareness, curiosity. I, I won't read all of them because you can obviously see them on the screen yourself. But what I want to say here is. Not one single one of those skills is something that needs education or money, okay? These are actually things that you already have within you yourself, which I show you through the program. You just need to learn how to turn the volume up on each one. So in my program, I have a workbook where I get you to do all these cool exercises about what do you think you need? What do you think you have? And I get you to name the percentage of how much you might have. So for example, you might be someone who needs curiosity in their life. I'll ask you a question about, okay, what is curiosity to you? What signs would you see in your life where you see curiosity? How much curiosity do you have already? So that you understand actually it's already there. And the more you see, the more you get. So I show you how to tap into that and turn the volume up and magnify it so that you have all the things you need inside to start achieving your goals and dreams. And on that note of goals and dreams, I go into goals and dreams in a different way where it's about really going to the depth of who you are and what you want so that you can set yourself up for success. I'll go into more detail in just one second. Now, I want to share with you the story of where I got things wrong. Now, I have been doing manifesting ever since I was a little girl, and I share with you the story about myself and and how I fell into manifesting. And I never, I was really ashamed of it, embarrassed about it. And I'll share something with you about Manifesting March as well. But I want to talk to you about my home and, and how I got things very, very wrong, okay? By essentially playing it safe. So when Tom and I would have been about, oh, 18 months ago, no, 
yeah, 18 months ago. And Tom, Tom was banging on to me like, Canna, we need, we've outgrown this house. We need a bigger house. And I was like, Tom, we've just moved. Like, don't be stupid. We know we're comfortable. We've got everything under control. It's everything's very safe. Um, you know, stop being greedy. Okay. You know, you're being overly ambitious. It's unnecessary. You know, why would you want to rock the boat, make change in our lives? Like, come on, like, let it go. And he kept on pushing and pushing and pushing. And I was getting really, really uncomfortable. And I literally was, I felt so like backed into a corner. And then Tom hit me up. He's like, you're holding us back. And you, you know, this is not what you're about. And he was right. I'm someone who's big on like stepping up, embracing change, um, understand taking on educated risks, informed risks, but also, you know, raising your bar, going from strength to strength. And when he really is, sort of, uh, and I say attack, but not in a bad way, but when he really confronted me about this, I had to, I, I had a big awakening because I realized he was onto something. And that was why I was feeling like I was backed in a corner because I wasn't at all, but it was just my own, you know, inner narrow mindedness, um, insecurity, um, lacking maybe of self-confidence um, and my own toxic headspace thinking that's greedy of Tom. Anyway, I, after, you know, seeing what he was saying from his perspective, I was like, you know what, you are right. I get what you're saying, but can you just give me some space to, to work on this and, and, and come back to you? And so I did. And I asked myself this question, if I could make wave a magic wand and this changing of home would actually work and work beautifully, what would I like? And I closed my eyes and did some visualization. And I, I used one of my techniques, which I explained in my program on how to do it, but I closed my eyes and I had all these images coming up, uh, white walls, very modern, very minimalist. Um, I had this weird, and I don't know where it came from, this idea of like palm trees blowing in the wind um, and uh, I could hear the ocean. Um, I could see parts of the ocean, but I could really, he really clearly hear the ocean. And it was quite incredible. And I was like, okay, that's what I would really like. If, if I can make, wave my magic wand, that's what I want. And it felt good. So I went back to Tom and I'm like, okay. Now Tom had another limitation. He, there were only three, it was only one suburb he wanted to buy in and only three streets, okay? So I was like, oh, okay, that's, you know, I'm, I'm opening myself up here, but Tommy being really limiting here, like this is a bit crazy. But okay, I'm going to take a breath, believe in this, have faith, see what happens and let the universe take over. About 10 days later, Rocco and I were walking down around our streets and of our old home and it was really weird. We were scattering Sophia's ashes and we walked past this house. And I, it was weird. I, I walked past down this street a gazillion times because it's the way to our local beach. And I turned to Rocco and there was a man standing on the, in the driveway looking at the house. And I said to Rocco, wow, I've never noticed that house before. It's so beautiful. Gosh, that would be a, a, a really good house for us. Like that would, and then I was like, oh, gosh, that's similar to the one I visualized. Didn't think anything of it. Off we went, scattered Sophia's ashes. Then a couple of weeks later, we're in the Gold Coast and Tom is at me again. You know, come on, we need to move. We need, we, we you know, this is, we've got to do this. Like, and I'm like, oh, and we start arguing. And Tom then, you know, he's like, look at this, the house, look at this house, look at the house. I'm like, I don't like it. I don't like it. No, it's not right, not right. Anyway, finally, I pick up my phone and I I don't search on, I don't even, I don't even search on domain. Um, and I open up the home screen and Tom's like, fine, you find a place. So I pick up my phone, look at it, open it and home screen as the advertised is this house. And I was like, oh my God, that's the house, Tom, that this is it. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, we get, this is the house we need to get. This is it. It's in the street that we want. It's what I, it's what I want. It's modern. It's nice. Tom was like, mm, I don't really like it. I'm like, oh my God. Anyway, we flew home. We left our, wrapped up our holiday early, flew home. And 10 days later, we bought this house. And if you've ever seen my stuff on Instagram, you can see bits of the house in the background and I'll share you more through this program, but it is exactly what I, I visioned. I learned to let go. I learned to surrender and have faith in the universe and let it work its magic. I had to hold the space for it and I had to learn how to hold the space, not get caught up in the fear, not, not question it. Now, this is what is bringing you to manifesting March. I still... I started talking about manifestation once, but about probably five videos into my YouTube channel. I was very nervous about talking about this because I had been doing this for many, many years as a little girl, 
but no one talked about manifesting. It was a, like, I, I was kind of embarrassed and ashamed, but the video was, everyone was really interested. And I, I guess I helped break open a conversation that needed to be had. And from that, I started manifesting March. Now, when I first did manifesting March, it was born out of my frustration of the scarcity and toxic mindset that comes from uh, frugal February. And manifesting March, year after year after year, more and more people around the world do it with me. And what's interesting, more and more men are doing it as well. These are just a couple of the, of the DMs that I got from people from doing Manifesting March this year. And every year I've done Manifesting March, the, the results have been bigger and not just a little bit bigger, hugely bigger. And it's funny, I was walking the dogs this morning and I was thinking about like how amazing each Manifesting March is getting bigger and better. And it's because my manifesting skills are more fine-tuned and I'm learning from my mistakes but the, what is actually the best blessing for Manifesting March is actually what I learn, what I gain, the connections, the people I meet. Yes, don't get me wrong, the, the financial windfalls that come from manifestation are incredible. But when you look at all the things you learn and gain as a person that serve you for the rest of your life, to me, that is bigger. Okay. Um, uh, sorry, so to, Teresa is saying, can you show the list of 10 shown again, please? Absolutely. I'll have to... Um, I, you'll get a copy of this as well. So don't worry, everyone who's listening to this. So what if you want to do this, what do you need? You just simply need a desire, a desire to do things differently, to try things differently. Now, I'm going to share with you another hack. If you're working on your goals right now and you feel like you are treading water or you're going backwards or the progress and the results isn't big enough for you right now, this is what I suggest you do. Really explore your thoughts and feelings first, okay? I'm going to give you an example of saving up for your first home or your second home, or your third home or fourth home, but saving up for a home, let's call it. Now, we, if we look at the media, we are told that we need these huge deposits, that it takes the average person, you know, 10 years or a lot more to save up a deposit. Uh, you know, the sacrifices that they have to now make to save up that money, like that they need guarantors and deposits from parents and stuff like that. That's what the media tells us. So if we go, you know what, I'm going to switch off from that. And ignore it. I'm going to choose to proactively and uh, intentionally step back and change my thoughts about this. I'm going to admit it's going to take me a while, but I'm going to flick these thoughts to something positive. Okay. All right. It's going to be tough, but it's going to be incredible having my own home. It's, I'm going to feel really proud about myself as I start saving my deposit. The thought that having a goal to save up for a new home or a first home is an amazing one. It's an inspiring one. Other people will be motivated motivated by what you are choosing to do. So you actually start thinking about that goal now in a different light, not about it being a struggle and, and taking forever. It's actually something that you're going to embrace. Now, now, if we look at this and go, all right, how does that impact our feelings? Are we feeling a bit excite, more excited now about saving for our deposit? Do we feel a bit more committed and dedicated? Do we feel even an element of patience because we know that patience is, is there? Not burying our head in the sand or being oblivious to the work involved, far from it. But we are making peace with that But we and we're seeing it as a challenge, a healthy challenge that's actually going to help make us better with our money, learn how to stick to a budget more, understand the respect of, of, of work and, and hard work and understanding about embracing what we and see, embracing and understanding what we value more. See how your mindset and your energy in your body starts to change when we adjust our thoughts and feelings. Now, when we do this the right way, we start creating organic actions in our lives. We catch ourselves about to blow some money or waste some money and go, oh, hang on, that's out of alignment with who I am and what I stand for because you've invested that time exploring it in the first place. We also start looking at different ideas. We open up a box a box of different ideas, tools, and brainstorming to help get us to that goal sooner. And in my course, I have all these special triggers and daily habits that I recommend you do to start looking at your goals and making your goals actually start happening a lot sooner, no matter what your goal actually might be. So what I'm all about is what myself as a person and what I'm passionate about is obviously helping people create the shift and breakthrough. But from that shift and breakthrough, 
you create growth, not just financial growth, personal, spiritual growth. You have a newfound, like a new profound sense of awareness, awareness around you. You are so much more empowered and people pick it up. They can smell it on you. Something's different. Something's changed. And you start seeing greater progress on a more efficient level. And the journey that you're on is way more joyful. You're actually enjoying the adventure. It's not a slog. It's not a, um, a setback. It's, it's actually an adventure and an adventure that you embrace and are excited about. And you, you have this just profound different energy and pizzazz to life. Now, a lot of people think we need things before we can begin this. You know, is that saying you need money to make money, which is a load of crap? That's far from it. We think we need something, but really what that ultimately is, is a dirty, destructive, self-limiting excuse. You see, when we say we need something, there are so many elements within that are, that are toxic. When we need something, it means you're, we are ultimately saying to ourselves that we don't have that first that thing in the first place. Okay, so you're, that's an element of scarcity in itself. I, I don't have. I need. I need means I don't have. I don't have yet. Okay, and it, it's not great. And then we use that as an excuse to hold off. Or I'll, I'll start investing when I find a good financial planner. Or I'll start saving um, uh, once I get that pay rise or that new job or that new promotion. Or, you know, it, it's, it's constant excuses. You are going to be in the same space or a similar space in exactly one year from now. We need to stop this from happening. And as again, you're just creating excuses for yourself to procrastinate. Okay. And there are elements of our lives, you know, sometimes we need to rest and recharge. We're not ready yet. I get that. But if we're doing this on a continuous basis, we're wasting precious time and we need to be honest with ourselves. And that's when we're honest with ourselves. That's when we grow. OK, and we create these shifts and breakthroughs. Now, once we do this, it's like opening up the floodgates because we go from strength to strength. And there's some stuff in my program. I talk about you get ideas, these nuggets of goals that come to you, ideas, and you've got to jump on them because when you jump on them, you create this momentum. And if you choose to procrastinate and delay the universe stops sending you these ideas. So, for example, you might uh, list, find things in your home to sell, okay? Now, you procrastinate and think, oh, I can't be bothered to list that on Gumtree or on Facebook Marketplace. Even though I've got this goal of saving up $20,000, there is, say, $1,000 worth of stuff sitting in front of you. What happens is the universe goes, okay, well, that's not very nice. I gave you all these ideas and strategies and solutions to sell some stuff to make some money. You haven't honored that. You haven't respected it. So what, what are we going to, you know, I'm not going to give you any more. So it doesn't, it stops there. And then you continue to procrastinate and that stuff never gets sold or listed and you end up donating it and giving it away. But when you do something differently, and, and this is why I talk about some of the breakthroughs, you, you go, right, all right, I've got all this stuff I found I can sell. I'm going to sell it. You list it. You know, yes, it may take time to sell, but it sells. But as is once it's listed, that's the that's the breakthrough. It's listed, it's up there, out there in the universe to be sold. The universe goes right. I'm taking you seriously. You actually implemented what I gave you. And the more we see, the more we get, and what we appreciate, appreciate. So within a day or two, or within an hour or two, or a few minutes, even boom, another opportunity gets thrown your way. This is about the rhythm and the momentum of progress. And I've never spoken about this anywhere before on any of my content yet here. So at the end of the day, it's you have got to do the work. I'm going to give you all the techniques. And I'm talking practical techniques, not just like wishy-washy, say a prayer, meditate. Like, no, 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 there's going to be work involved. But it's good work. It's enjoyable work. And it's like life-changing, game-changing work. So, but it's got to come from you. I'm not going to sugarcoat this at all. So what do you need? You Well, you need admiration and you need a desire to do things differently. You don't want to be one of those statistics that all those news headlines that I screenshot just last night. And if you go back and look at the dates on those screenshots of those um, headlines, they're all very, very recent. OK, so I want you to be the other side. I want you to be looking at those stories going, oh, my gosh, I feel so sorry. I did. But I'm so glad I did things differently for, my, for yourself. Now, how is everyone feeling so far? Sorry, I'm bidding everywhere. I'm getting so excited. Is Can everyone let me know how you're going? Every, um, oh, I can see a great question about the Joneses. I'll come back to that, I promise. Um, all right, great. Okay. 
All right, now I'll explain to you how my program works, okay? So I have it's one program together, okay? And the first half is all about your mindset and cleaning your mindset up, okay? And we work around what are your goals? What do you really want to do? I give you all my hacks, how to simplify your goals, how to actually trim your goals down without having to make any sacrifices because that's a big, a really important thing. Uh, and it's about doing your goals efficiently, okay? The other side is the sorry, starting with mindset. So mindset, the goals, talking about all the things you can do to help make your goals actually happen. The second half is the manifestation stuff. Now, the reason why it goes mindset first, then manifestation is if we don't truly know why, what we want, how can we possibly successfully manifest it? Now, this is where I have, and I share with you so many stories in this program, but I have sometimes, and I tell you the what I, where I went wrong so you don't make the same mistakes, I've accidentally manifested the wrong thing because I've done my mindset incorrectly. Do your mindset correctly, then manifest. And the thing is, with your mindset, it's so incredibly important because that will actually have a flow-on effect into so many other areas in your life. And you can then use manifestation correctly and with precision in it helping build your mindset on another level. So it gets stronger and stronger and even more powerful. Now, the program is created for every different type of learning skill. So I'm if you know me for a while, you know I'm dyslexic, I have ADHD, and I have something called audio perception, which means for me, hearing instructions on an audio way is really challenging. It's like a foreign language, but if I see it written down, I understand it. So I have built this program, and this is probably why it's taken me six months to put this program together, is it's a workbook which you write in, which becomes like a journal. It's like a, I don't want to use the word Bible, but it's definitely a roadmap for your transformation and to tap into abundance. The other part of it is bite-sized videos, which is uh, videos that range between two minutes to 20 minutes, and it's all mobile friendly. So you can literally be sitting on the bus on the way to work or lying in bed watching my videos. And then each video is backed up with a podcast where I'm talking about the same topic, but in way more detail. And I share with you stories, um, uh, ideas, hacks, strategies. So it pretty much is appealing to everyone. And that once you have that program, it is yours and it is yours for life. And um, obviously, as I continue to connect with people and learn more, I'm always going to be adding to the program. But once you have that program, you have access to all the the changes and additional things will be added to it. But obviously new people that come to the program won't have that as well and they'll be entering at a different uh, price point as well. So th that is essentially how my program is working with people. And it, the thing is, I'm not going to just send you this program and then wish you on your merry way. Absolutely not. I will be working with you. <laughs> Um, I know I may be biting off way more than I can chew, but I don't care because I, I love this so much. But when you do the program, you have access to me through Instagram. So you can message me and say, hey, Ken, I'm doing your program. Um, you've got this question here, but I, I want to just clarify that I'm doing it correctly. Or can I, something's just happened to me really weird. Can you help me just decipher this and see what the meaning is behind that? That is where I am there to go. All right, let's have a quick chat. Let's work this so that you're stay on your path and you keep going. Or you may want to just message me and say, hey, Kanna, this just happened out of the blue. And that is what I want to hear from you. I, I like I want to connect with you. And I also we're going to be we have a monthly Zoom call as well where we can chat, all share our successes. I can share with you what I've managed to, uh, to, to successfully manifest or how I've re maybe removed a block of my own, um, a money block that is, or how I have, uh, like my mindset has evolved, more hacks and tricks and habits, everything you need so that your journey is not just a, a, just a, a burst for the next 30 days, but actually it's something that's sustainable and you go from strength to strength. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to link an offer. If, if, if anyone that wants to actually join the program, they can uh, start the program straight away. Um, it's The way the program works is it's $547. However, if you want, you can actually pay it over three installments, okay? So I've tried to understand that obviously with the cost of living, I'm working around with everyone. And it does come back, it does come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. But if you are serious about doing things differently, you have to start 
doing things differently and start approaching things in a different mindset, in a different mentality, and also use the power of manifestation in the right way where you know how to apply it in a practical sense directly to your financial goals and dreams that you've done in the money mindset program. As I mentioned, there's there are steps to take. And at the end of the program, you'll see I've come up with a ritual for you to follow where you design your own ritual, where you can do quick, easy, simple things every day to work on your goals that can take between three seconds or half an hour, depending on what you want. Now, I'm, as a, you guys know, I've got ADHD. I have trouble concentrating. So I wanted to make sure that this was easily applicable for everyone, no matter what you've got on your plate right now, uh, no matter how good you are at concentrating, you can do it on the go. In fact, I often do some of my exercises in the car driving the kids. <laughs> and my kids like to scream very loudly a lot. So it, it you know, it, it works for every everyone. And I've got so many incredible stories to share with you about myself and what I've what I've done and what I've built and what I've achieved because of my mindset. And I've also got, um, you know, lots of stories from other people, which brings me to the testimonials of the of the women that actually went through this. So I before I launched this program, I wanted to make sure that it was of value. Otherwise, I was not going to launch it at all. So 11 women very kindly agreed to do this with me. And uh, they, these are women who paid. They, then they, um, they paid to to work with me. So it wasn't like, oh, well, I'll do it anyway. It's free. No, no, these women made it a, an investment to do this, and it was a substantial investment to do this, and it was incredible what happened. Every single woman had this incredible experience of and shift and breakthrough, and each breakthrough was mind blowing. Like, uh, and you can see some of the. I've got just a couple of the testimonials here for you to read, but really just creating you know clarity in people's lives was incredibly important and that's through my, the goal setting process where i learned to show you how to trim down your goals without sacrificing anything it's about changing some keywords in the way that you have your goals and making them really efficient and straight to the point i show you how to build your own elevator pitch on goals because you need to be able to give yourself your elevator pitch um the uh like kim was a great example like she had this goal of saving ten thousand um, dollars initially by the end of the year by within like i think two weeks of me doing work with her she had the ten thousand dollars and this and this is something um people get scared of their own successes and this is something i have experienced as well they go oh wow um i did it that happened i managed to successfully manifest okay thank you bye and they, they get frightened they pull back out and that's not what the universe wants like this stuff exists because because it works and it's powerful. It wants you to run with it, keep going. And I have a whole chapter called Stay High, which talks exactly about this. And I talk about how my big awakening about staying high with manifestation work. And that is when it works, you show gratitude, show respect, but don't just bow out and say, thank you, see you later, that was great. Keep going with it because there's even more breakthroughs to come from it. Okay, so, all right, um, just going going through like these testimonies were just absolutely beautiful and there's more of them which I all share on my Instagram account like I like there was so much to share and obviously I don't want to overwhelm everyone so look if you want to do this course I'm ready for you and I'm ready to do this work with you um, I guarantee I promise you you won't regret it that's why I've put that 30-day guarantee uh, all you need to do is be ready to do things differently you're sick of the grind you're sick of uh, being exhausted and drained and doing the same thing over and over again without anything different happening. I, this is what I do. And anyone who's achieved anything incredible in their lives, they will tell you mindset matters. Mindset is where you start and mindset is what will get you through tough times, setbacks, challenges, resistance. And that's where the most beautiful and profound growth come from. And when you look at your goals because you've learned to fine tune them, I show you exactly how to act, properly apply manifestation in the right type of way and how to look for all the signs around you that you are on the right path and you are heading in the right direction. And the universe has your back and the universe knows what is best for you, what is way better for you. All right. Okay. I'm going to return back to the chat. Um, if anyone has any questions, um, please hit me up now. Uh, we've got 15 minutes. Um, 
the, yeah, we're 15 minutes to, to chat and you can ask questions. Now, I saw a question about how do I deal with the mentality of keeping up with the Joneses? This is a brilliant question. I'm not someone who prescribes to keeping up with the Joneses at all. Everyone's on their own path. Like there's no judgment from me. Um, but what I do is I flick the switch on this and I get inspired. So if I see a friend of mine that is going to Europe, for example, or buying a new handbag or, um, you know, is, is, you know, dressed in the latest, you know, outfit, I, I don't get jealous. I get inspired. I think, wow, isn't that cool? Like how beautiful. And, and I actually celebrate their successes. I say, they, that person, my girlfriend's worked really hard to buy that dress or to go on that holiday. Or isn't that nice that my friend gets to go and go travel to a new place and take her children and, and have those beautiful moments? Because the more we see, the more we get, okay? And quite often, once when I get inspired by other people, it just fuels my motivation and my passion for my own goals and my own journey and my own uh, path. Okay. Now I had someone ask me, do I still do one-on-one -on -one consultate appointments at SAS Financial? No is the answer. <laughs> so when I had Tiger, my, who's just turned two, um, I sold my practice um, to, yeah, I sold my practice. And that was because I had to, I was at a, a crossroad where Sugar Mama was just exploding and I couldn't be a mother to three children and be completely present run a financial planning practice, run Sugar Mama, and also be very involved in Tom's life and in Tom's working life. So something had to give. So I actually sold my practice. I'm still a financial planner and I'm still licensed under the dealer group um, that I sold my practice to. And I still am in conversation and connection with all of my clients. But I actually stopped taking on new clients about five or six years ago because I was at maximum capacity. And where I really found my calling was in education because the problem with Australia and around the world actually is we're not taught how to do money in school. We, um, we're not taught about how to do a budget, how to set financial goals even. So we, the, this is where I was like, okay, I have a greater value and service to the people around the world and I'm far more scalable with Sugar Mama. So I'm still, I still do all my training. I'm still completely qualified. Nothing has changed whatsoever. And my dealer group always says to me, do you want to come back and keep looking after the clients? And, and they're amazing because they're like, you know what, we know what, you're going, what you've got on with three kids um, and a hectic schedule. If you ever want to, you can come back. But at the same time, my clients are being taken care of in the meantime. And it's it's wonderful. Um, uh, you'd love to join your own maternity leave. Absolutely. Um, you, this is, I'm not here to push you or anything. Like I'm here for you. Uh, to to for when you're ready, you have to be ready to do this. So um, the one thing I will say is, um, if you are on, uh, if you oh you're on maternity leave already, so yeah, when you are ready, this will be available. The price of this program will most likely change. I've put it at this price just for the time being because it's still new, um, but it will be adjusted over time. So I can't guarantee that this will stay at the same price, unfortunately. Um, and I love that Susie has written invest in yourself back you. Yeah, I completely agree. You've, you've got to invest in yourself. Like you, you can't give money to charity unless you take care of your own finances first. And, and this is where you start. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, okay. What's going on with all the financial planners seem to be selling their businesses and going into education. <sighs> I, look, I can't, well, I can answer that. Um, the problem is, is there's a huge hole of people needing education. Financial advice is expensive. A lot of people can't afford it. Um, and there's a reason why it's expensive. There's this huge amount of legislation involved and compliance and paperwork. Creating a statement of advice is expensive and a huge amount of legal liability on the financial planner's shoulder. So that's why I think a lot of them are. Um, uh, your financial planner did wrong by me. Okay. That's something you need to go to the authorities and, and, and maybe look at lodging a complaint uh, with the licensee perhaps. Um, education pays more. Yeah, the way the way through tough, challenging financial times is education and your mindset. Okay, the the two. If you mean yes, you can understand the importance of a budget and credit cards and investing, but you will achieve more and you will achieve greater and with more pleasure when you fix your mindset first. You're excited about investing. You're not investing because that's what you've been told is the right thing to do. It's about embracing this and embracing the personal growth behind that. Um, how do you deal with negative husbands who are doom and gloom with money? Well, 
it's mindset. Like you fix your mindset, he will pick up on it. Tom is my biggest critic when it comes to this stuff. Okay. Um, and like Tom is now completely on board. He even will call me and say, honey, uh, can you go manifest this? I'm dealing with this challenge. Um, and it, it's, we kind of have a, a really healthy laugh about it. If you, your, your energy is contagious. So you have to be the light. You have to elevate and raise yourself and go and, and not, you've got, and that TP of protection is very powerful here for you because he says something doom and gloom and you have to like have that bounce back off your mirror of protection back onto him you go, yes, that might, this, it might be tough times out there, but we're doing a budget. And we have some great goals that we're working on. And we decided to think outside of the square as to what we can do for those goals. And every day we're doing something through the habit system that Can has built where we're one step closer. And by the way, look, we've actually knocked an extra $100 off our mortgage this month. You have to be, and, and I really think women do this better than men, uh, which I, is a very massive sweeping generalization. I don't want to offend anyone, but I feel like women are a lot more open to this work initially. And when women do it and go through the transformation, it creates the shift in the home where men go, all right, hang on. And it's funny. I did a podcast uh, 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 It's on my, I think it's Meg is her name. She, her husband's a financial planner who's quite doom and gloom. And she decided to do manifesting. She manifested $10,000 really quickly. She's actually done it again and manifested over $100,000. And her husband is so on board. So you need to be the way, the, you need to lead the way and be lead by example. Okay. Um, all right. Look, uh, dead tired um uh, oh sorry i saw uh, uh, catherine's in the uk she's got up at 3 47 um i won't be running it again on friday but i've had a huge amount of people um subscribe to do this like a obscene amount so i'm going to look to maybe doing this maybe next week again for you but in the meantime if you want the program it's ready for you um jump in and, and grab it um start the program you know you you, you You've heard a lot from me, but there's even more in the program, okay? Um, and someone's just asked, Kathy, do you have an immediate access or is there a starting date? No, you can start right now in this very split second if you want. It's an online program, so you literally get access into the program and you can listen to the, the first video. You can watch the first video, listen to the first podcast. Everything is there for you. Um, and does this course relate to those of us across the ditch in New Zealand? I love New Zealand. Um, it's one of my favorite places in the world. It's so beautiful. Yeah, yes. In fact, two women uh, did this who were in the pilot program were from New Zealand. Okay. And it's if you've listened to my podcast with Lou um, Heller, who did the, who's about fashion. She's also, uh, she's a New Zealander and her and I had an amazing conversation about manifestation. She's really into it as well. All right. Um, results. Uh, Kate said results are magnetic. Um, they want what you're getting. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, I get education is important, but financial planners have access to other investments. The average person doesn't. Not true. Uh, if you look at the Moomoo app, which is free, there's an incredible amount of free educational information. Again, you're coming up with the excuse, like uh, to this person, uh, Sharon, that's the thing. You think you need something to get there. That's not true. You don't need this. That's that. There are free tools out there that financial planners lean on. I did a, a, a reel the other day about Moomoo. They're free educational tools. You're, that's an excuse to wait. Like, see how, like, I, not that I don't, I don't mean to expose you or catch you out, but this is what I'm talking about. We think we need, we need something before we can start. Not the case at all. We need to start. That beautiful saying, which I can't quote correctly and directly but you know focus on the vision and the path will open up in front of you I, I you know I can't tell you that and even um, a quick manifesting story for you to end on as you guys know I had a horrible frugal February all of our emergency money got wiped and our special savings completely cleared out we are we are ground zero and so that meant I had to cancel our regular savings plan for a holiday now we haven't done a proper holiday for years like apple doesn't have a passport uh you know like we haven't been overseas well i did a quick trip to hong kong but we've been we have not done a family holiday um for a long time other than like a local new south wales holiday i we desperately need one and i said to tom well, i want to go on holiday at the end of the year we need to get away and tom laughed at me he's like hannah with what like we all our emergency money got wiped our savings have been cleared out we're starting from ground zero again i'm like i'm going to manifest it and he's like yeah right here you go 
anyway, uh, I have I have a vision board and I show you how to do a vision board. And I looked at that in on my vision board, I have a beach and I did all these visualization techniques where Tom and I are in the airport, we're going through passport control. I have all five passports in my hand. I can feel those passports. I can hear the sound of people like lugging their, you know, putting their luggage on the carousel, people talking in the background, uh, looking for the sign for the lounge, like really embracing this visualization exercise. And, uh, you know, sitting on the plane with the three kids, getting them settled, looking at Tom going, yep, we did it. We're going, getting to the hotel, sitting by the pool, feeling the cocktail in my hand, the condensation dripping down my um, my wrist to my elbow, the taste of the cocktail in my hand, hearing my kids splashing in the water, the sensation of wrapping them up in a hotel towel that's warm, the heat on my back, the smell of sunscreen, like really intense stuff, which I show you how to do. Anyway, about a month ago, I don't mean that, it's on my vision board. I mean, I said Bali or Fiji. A month ago, Tom and I were talking about this holiday and he's like, oh my gosh, I have all these flight credits I didn't realize from COVID. And what had happened was he had a whole pile of flight credits from COVID that had banked up. But the problem is in the conditions, he could only, he couldn't just use them when he wanted to. He could only use them for certain trips and had to be used in certain chunks. So he's like, I can actually... He like j jumped online. He's like, oh my gosh, I can actually get all five of us because uh, we're all, no one's flying for free anymore because uh, now Tiger's now too. I can actually get all five of us on a flight to Bali for nothing. Okay. I was like, oh my God, just do it. And he, and it he, middly, he had to pay a little bit in um, the transactions and stuff like, and the um, some government fees, but done. Book flights booked. Then the next thing happened. He's like, okay, well, how are we going to pay for the accommodation? Like we've got these flights for a week. Uh, flights booked to Bali for a week. Where are we going to stay? Now we're a family of five, which means you need two bedrooms, okay? And uh, that now doubles the cost of accommodation for us because usually before we had Tiger, it would have been Apple, me, Rocco, and Tom in in a in a uh, one bedroom hotel room because they normally have two queen beds. You can't do that anymore. When you hit five, you have to get two bedrooms. So we were like, oh my god, crap! So I'm looking online everywhere. And we're going at quite a busy time, end of November. It's approaching school holidays. I'm asking, oh, my goodness. Anyway, uh, Tom just randomly decides to call the hotel. It happened to be the one hotel I was like, I really like this hotel. I've stayed before. It's pretty luxy. It doesn't have a kids club, but I, I just want to, I think this would be really good for us. Anyway, he came home that night and goes, I called the hotel and I spoke to the manager and he explained our situation. And he said, yeah, that's fine. That's We'll give you. We'll let you book a one-bedroom uh, hotel room just has to be the largest size uh, which, and uh, it uh, and that's fine no problem and again uh, also our accommodation bill has just been cut down in half so this is what I'm saying like weird stuff happens you don't have it's not necessarily all about money like manifestation returns and and it is successful in wild and wonderful ways okay and these are just some of the incredible stories that I share with you. And I'm, I'm hoping that everyone, as they do the program, through the monthly Zoom sessions can share their stories. I can't wait to hear from you on Instagram as to how you go. Um, but look, everyone, thank you so much for doing this and listening to me today. It, it opens my heart with so much joy and pleasure and, and passion to be able to safely have these conversations with you without any judgment or negativity and know that everyone's on the same path as me, wants to grow, wants to do things differently and wants to see results. Okay. So thank you. And thank you for all the very beautiful, kind, supportive, encouraging comments um, below. <sighs> all right, everyone. Um, wishing you the the, the best of the remaining week and the upcoming weekend. And don't forget to, um, if you want to take up that offer and start access immediately and start your program, the link is there ready for you to go. All right, everyone. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure and joy.